here working on this old uh, voltometer, a Micronta brand from Radio Shack. Had it a long time, I guess, uh, from back in the day. Found it in my toolbox, and it's pretty nasty. I've never seen probes that look like this before. And it looks like I improvised way back then and uh, tinned the leads here just so they would plug into these little pin sockets. I'll see if I can do better than that now. But I found it in the toolbox and I want to bring it back to life. It's kind of cool to have an old analog meter like this around. So I have to remove the back screw and wow, the battery has been in there a long time. So I'm going to have to, going to, have to work to recover this thing. Probably should have some gloves for that, but uh, there's the, looks like this, uh, the lead actually uh, came off, the negative lead off the battery. I'll have to recover that somehow. But I've got this, uh, so I've got this corrosion issue with it. I've mixed up some baking soda and a little bit of water here. I'm going to try and neutralize the acid and um, and then put it all together and uh, maybe try to get it working again. Looks like it's uh, quickly brought that away. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to be have to do with these battery terminals. I might just have to make some. But it does seem to be working pretty well at, at removing the blue, the bluing. But this one wire here, uh, I don't know how far that corrosion's traveled up the wire. I've seen it on cars. I've seen this kind of thing travel for, you know, almost a foot. And it'll the cable will appear uh, to be okay. But it, if, if you investigate it further, you, it really, you find it's kind of got like a cable rot or something going on in it. So I might just replace this entire wire all the way to that junction there. There's actually some corrosion there too. So, uh, now I'll work on this and, uh, let's see, there's a little chunk of it inside there. Wow. But I think I'll be able to restore it. So I can see, uh, the terminals are, are just too far gone to really use. So... I'm gonna remove the terminals and make my own terminals and put in here. I think it'd be a lot more reliable. And uh, I'll show you that when I get that done. Okay, so I decided that the positive uh, connection is in pretty good shape. It cleaned up pretty well. I rinsed it off in the sink and this turned out pretty good. It's cleaned out. Uh, but the negative uh, connection is just totally gone. And uh, I decided that I'm gonna use this rubber O-ring here and a piece of black wire. I'm gonna strip the uh, insulation off of this. Not gonna twist it. I'm just gonna stick it into the uh, this rubber O-ring. And I'm gonna try and route it around there maybe twice if I can. Let's see if I can do this. Easier to stick the uh, insulated part in. So what I want to do is just get that uh, conductor wrapped around uh, the rubber once or twice. And uh, I want the rubber to, you know, serve as like a, com to compress it, like a spring to the back of the uh, battery. So something like that. So then when I put the, uh, the battery in there, I just use this uh, rubber piece here and stick that down in there. Let the rubber compress. I believe that'll work just fine for, you know, an old voltmeter kind of thing. Uh, I don't really rely on it anymore, but um, I just wanted to see if I could make it work again. And I'll just run this wire over here Resolder the connection right there. Let's see, I got the solder iron warmed up. I want to make the wire a little bit long there.
something like this, I just tin the end of the wire. And I want to have to take all that board apart and everything. And hopefully this uh, old solder will still stick. Yes, it's stuck. So I've got a battery in there now and I've made restored the connection. It's not the prettiest uh, thing in the world. Let's see if I can tweak on this just a little bit. Let's see if it might work now. See the meter moving. It's still wet, so um, I'm gonna stick it in the oven at about 110 degrees for a while. Let's just see if this thing works. Oh yeah, working fine. So let me see if I can zero it. Yeah, it still zeroes out. Cool, this thing is working. Might, I might spring for some new leads. Or I might just clean those up. I don't know. I have uh, other meters that I really use. Uh, this is just cool to have around, you know, from the old days. When I used to work on, like, bowling alley machines and things, bending machines, things like that. I'll let that dry and then put it together. But there you go. That's, uh, that's one way you can fix a battery with an O-ring, a rubber O-ring. And if you, don't, if you don't have the hardware anymore, 